get ready for an extraordinary hotel experience in Singapore. Whether you're planning a staycation, celebrating a special occasion, or simply seeking unique accommodations. These are the top 3 love hotels you might not want to miss. As of 2023, Singapore has over 378 hotels and from my limited research, I have found 19 of these hotels that has loft rooms. And these are the 19 hotels, you can pause the screen and check it out for yourself. But me and Rose has narrowed it down to our top 3 to stay and another 2 luxury ones for the rich to consider. But before carrying on to this video, do remember to like, share and subscribe. And for subscribing, here's an old photo of me and Rose back when we started dating. So without further ado, let's begin this video. For the first hotel, it is Holiday in Little India. It is centrally situated in one of the most vibrant and colourful neighbourhoods in Singapore. It is a 20-storey hotel with glass facade that offers panoramic views. Little India Holiday Inn is a standout amongst the sea of conserved shop houses. To take note, this is not Holiday Inn Express. Holiday Inn Express offers limited services while this offers full concierge services. As per the loft, it only offers two types of loft room which is queen bed premium loft of about 27 meters square and another queen top floor loft of 20 meters square at level 20. So you cannot guarantee a view. We usually use trip.com for our Singapore hotels. So as for the price on a random weekday in August is about 315 for the queen top floor without breakfast and 346 for the queen premium loft. Cross checking with Agoda for the queen premium loft, it's a staggering $381. And for the weekends, it goes to about 361 for the top floor loft and 394 for the queen premium loft. And in terms of location, I would say it's super ideal because you are connected directly and sheltered to the nearest MRT which is Faro Park MRT and this MRT is actually located below the hotel beside it which is called One Faro Hotel and connecting the two buildings is just a shelter so do not worry if it rains. Overall location is also very decent Little India is just opposite so you can explore the cultures and embrace the sights and smells of Little India. There's also a mall nearby called City Square Mall for you to shop your amenities. However, no convenience stores nearby but I did find a small mama shop beside the hotel in another hotel called Fortuna Hotel. Next hotel is Studio M, Singapore's first fully loft inspired designer hotel and it's unique and modern hotel that has a total of 360 rooms that were designed by an Italian architect. Located in a vibrant Robertson Quay neighborhood of Singapore, Studio M offers a contemporary urban retreat for business and leisure travelers. Rather popular amongst the younger generations of Singapore and I myself have stayed there a few years ago. All the rooms are loft style which is really cool with a room size of about 20 2 meters square and a high ceiling of over 3 meters. There are four types of room, studio loft, premier loft, studio loft with sofa bed and executive loft. Studio loft being the cheapest and the executive being the most expensive one. Price point of Studio M is rather decent on the weekdays as it goes from about as low as 177 to a high of 255. While on weekends, the lowest is 188 and of a high of about 396. So definitely you need to double check on a couple different websites before confirming on one because prices will vary a lot. Studio M I would say has not the best location for a hotel as a tourist but if you are a staycationer, I would think it's fine. Located right in the middle of Robertson Key area, the nearest MRT is actually Havelock MRT or Fort Canning MRT, both a 10 minutes walk away. Definitely not sheltered so if it rains, it might be an issue getting to your hotel. However, located along the Singapore River, there are tons of bars and restaurants which you can enjoy. Bus stop wise, you have to walk a fair bit as well to get to one. So if you are a tourist, I would not really recommend you to stay here unless you are going to rent a car or don't mind walking or have loads of cash to take cab anywhere. The next hotel is Citadines Connect City Centre, a hotel under the Escort Star Rewards aka ASR with a total of 172 rooms and it only opened in 2022. If you are familiar with life at Funan as well as Mason or Rila Bali, they are actually under the same group. But more on this hotel, the building in which the hotel is housed in has a fair bit of history dating back to the 1900s where it was one of Singapore's earlier railway station and also officially opened by Singapore's governor. Sir Franklin Gimson in 1949. There are also a couple of loft rooms such as Loft 1, Loft 2, Loft Family, Loft 1 with sofa bed, Loft 2 with sofa bed, and Loft Family with sofa bed. The Loft Family rooms are about 26 meters square while the rest are 23 meters square. However, all situated on low floors. Main differences between the rooms are just the layout. As for prices on an average weekday, Loft 1 will cost you about 317 without breakfast 
Loft 2 will cost you about 337 and Loft Family will cost you 356. For the Loft rooms with sofa bed, it can accommodate 3 people and it will cost slightly more at 414 for Loft 1 and 2 and 433 for Loft Family. But expect average prices to be about 300 range on a normal travel period. In terms of locality, I would say it's rather good but you have to do a bit of walking if it rains. If it doesn't rain then you are only a 5 minutes walk to Dobigot MRT station. Dobigot itself also has a really large mall called Plaza Singapura which you can definitely find anything you will need when travelling. But yes, if it rains, there's actually an underpass linking you directly to Plaza Singapura which then links you to the MRT easily. So yes, overall location is really great but the building is situated in a slightly quieter part of Dobigot. So these are the 3 hotels you can consider if you want to have a staycation but slightly on a budget. A traveller looking for a stylish hotel so you can flex it on your social media. But if you're rich, the next two hotels can be your selection. Or if you're poor like me and just want to admire these two hotels, watch on. So the first of the two luxury hotels is Aquarius Treetop Loft. So this next hotel that we're going to talk about is actually located in Sentosa, a spot you would want to check out if you are coming to Singapore for the first time. Aquarius Treetop Loft has the one bedroom lofts which are hidden away in treetop canopies with personalised butler service on call. According to the website, the luxurious and spacious interior are designed to bring the outdoors within and with the loft size at 94 square meters, the balcony is equivalent or larger in size at about 96 to 98 square meters so basically overall almost 200 square meters the average price in august on a weekday goes from a low of 1174 and a high of 1376 per night and for the weekends the cheapest one that i could find was 1388 and the highest of 1626 and glancing in a few months into the future the highest i actually saw was 2065 during the christmas period i still don't think it's worth of it even for a 200 meter square room and as for location i cannot say it's good or bad because it's in sentosa if you plan to explore sentosa then yes location is good but if you are staying here and you plan to explore what's outside of sentosa then it's probably a no-go and the second luxury hotel is fullerton hotel and if you're a singaporean fullerton needs no introduction but to my overseas viewer fullerton building itself has a really rich history in singapore dating back to the 11th century year of 1919 this building is said by the then British governor Sir Lawrence Goulamat that it would be a monument worthy of the city. It held the general post office as well as the exchange and offices for the High Commissioner for the Federation of Malay States. Today, Fullerton Hotel is home to the luxurious 400-room hotel providing top-notch service to all its guests. And as you expect, a luxury hotel providing luxury service in a sort of luxury location will definitely come with a luxury price tag. With only one loft room in Fullerton, hotel the room is priced at a staggering $2,637 a night facing towards the marina bay and a size of 109 meters square i would say this is just madness and actually fun fact my sister helped her 21st birthday there however average typical room here costs about 537 per night which is also not cheap either but if you're ever in need of a public transport there's a bus stop right outside the hotel or a MRT which is just a 3 minutes walk. Overall location is good, just a 2 minutes walk and your gaze would meet the stunning Marina Bay Sands and the ever famous Lion. So this is the end of the video, I hope we have helped you in finding a stylish new hotel for your travel or your staycation. And if you are keen to find out more, comment down below and if enough people comment, we might consider doing a hotel review on it but not the luxury one because I'm broke unless it's sponsored. So thank you for watching, if you love this video remember to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.